come on to naming the complex ions as part of the transition metals. So there's four steps to do this. And the first is you look at how many ligands are coordinated onto the central metal ion. So how many coordinate bonds are there? If there's two, then you start off with di. If there's four, it's tetra. And if it's six, it's hexa. Next we look at what types of ligands they are. So if it's a water ligand, we say aqua. Ammonia, we say amine. Chloride, chloro. Hydroxide, hydroxo. And cyanide, cyano. Then we look at the overall complex's charge. So if it's positive, we now add the elemental name. If it's negative, then we add the following. I won't bother saying all these because you can read it, you can apply it. It's fairly straightforward. Finally then, we state the charge of the central metal ion in Roman numerals. And the easiest way for me to put this all together is to just show an example. So in this example here, the name is tetrachlorocobalate with the 2 in Roman numerals because a cobalt has a plus 2 charge. And that's it for what you need to know to name complex ions.